Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan 111, and welcome back to Rogue Legacy 2. I've got this spore stuff. I'm a barbarian, so I can shout. And we're ready to move on. I took a look. Oh, the living chest wants to say something. Thinking of changing buoys. Stars, gold coins. I like this buoy. It's just a little red and white thing. I did some looking uh, into a couple of mechanics and things that I missed in the previous videos. One is Boss Nama had some projectiles that I couldn't seem to get past and couldn't destroy, and I realized that they're resonant, they were glowing, and so I need to spin kick to get past them. Um, the other thing I realized, I should leave some furniture here. Um, and let's start by going to the Kruguian Plateau again. Um, I, I tried to read up about unity in terms of armor bonuses and things, and I still don't quite understand it, but I think I might understand it a little bit better. Um, if it comes up, we'll maybe go ahead and show that off. I'm gonna go ahead and have that so I can teleport to that boss if I want to. Um, but yeah, with this character, I think my goal for today is just try to, like, get a bunch of money and clear a bunch of areas and maybe find a fairy chest or two, learn some more, you know, unlock some more relics. Oh, gosh. Those guys are hard to see. Okay, there is a chest down there. And a warg. Okay. Oh, boy. The warg is in a separate slot. Got it. Alright, hey, warg. Become dead. Alright, this is a room layout I have not seen before. It's got like two little private... Eh, maybe I have seen this before in the Citadel. Uh, now that I think about it. And I wish I knew... Ooh, you've got a shield, which means that there is some commander who's giving a buff to nearby enemies, and there he is. Okay, so I need to somehow defeat you, so let's try some of this. Of course it missed. Um, what else could I do? I can shout and freeze you. And now that you're up there, maybe I can get onto this platform, please? There we go. And get some crits. Okay. Oh, boy. Every little thing in this game. Takes effort. I'll get better. There's just a lot going on. Okay. So yeah, seeing the little resonance particles. I am capable of doing if I'm looking for it, but during the boss battle I was not looking for it. And so I totally didn't see them. Okay. Fairy chest. Defeat all enemies. We're in good shape. Let's do it. Okay, you're down there, you're gonna stay down there, so I don't need to worry about you right now, okay. Uh, Will Wisp, you're a high priority target, because you guys really throw me off. And you guys, why don't I just go ahead and hit you with a spore burst? Willow, once again. Okay. Rostin, you're gone. You too. You're almost dead. There we go, is that everybody? Nope. There's still Spear Maidens over here. But I can knock you into the spikes. And or crit you a couple of times. And same thing on the other side. Oh, you're not dead yet. You bounced off the spikes a couple of times. Good for you. Oh, and there's more Mushroom guys over here. Alright. That's acceptable. Great. Okay. And with that, we unlocked the Fairy Chest. Hooray! What did I win? Red Rune! Gain more red ether- Ooh! I want that. Um, I've been struggling to get enough red ether. Yeah, I still don't have enough to even enable that rune. I wonder if I can disable one of my other- Well, I could still purchase this one. It's not rune capacity, it's just the red ether to purchase it. So I need a bunch more red ether still. Okay, words. So many things. Going on- uh, I knew that that was there, too, if I thought about it. I've been in this room many times before. Right, I have twin relics. Extra damage every six hit. I bet you I could do better. 
So we'll look and see if we can find some better relics. Um, is this a new zone? No, I was thinking it was a yellow door. Okay, Willows, I do not like you guys. Ah, darn it. I really do not like those. Is it because I have to spin kick them? Yeah, I guess it's because I have to spin kick them. Is the reason I select them as much as I do. Uh, let's do a little look down. Okay, this is safe. Ah, oh, there's spikes there. I didn't see them coming. So some of it's gonna become just better with familiarity with different room layouts. Some of it's just gonna be speed of my own visual parsing to sight read rooms on the fly. Um, but yeah, like falling on those spikes right there, like, I just gotta get better. <laughs> uh, okay, I was low on health and now we have a solution. I'm not as, quite as low on health anymore. And we've read all the lore, so we don't need that room anymore. So where am I going next on the map? Um, it's actually just about faster to teleport. Is it? I think it might be. It's a shame that this takes as long as it does. Because that's like... About 10 seconds. Plus this animation's like another three. And loading the area. Yeah, it's a bunch of seconds. It would be nice if you could, since that's always possible, if there were a button on the, an option on the menu, just to like teleport to the beginning of this zone. Because that is always an available action. Uh, right, I take knock, ugh. Knock back when I hit those things. And the knockback kind of jolted me around in a bad direction. And maybe a sad panda. Uh, let's try a different room for now. Alright, lamps, I see you. I did not see the zombie, but I happened to accidentally hit him. Also, he's not called a zombie. Alright, spore burst. I keep forgetting I have this. Ah, uh, Willow. Okay. Ah, hit me in the back. Rude. So rude. Ah, it's another Willow. Okay. Don't see any cracks over there. Oh boy. <laughs> Arrow's about to fire upon me. Willow. Safe ceiling. All right, you are gonna die, great. Let's wait for him to bounce away before I go over in his vicinity. Nice. All right, Willow. Good. And Spike Ball, why don't you help me with a little jump? Great. I don't like this thing. We'll re-roll it. I don't really like that one all that much either. It's kind of good, but I'm happy with what I got. Uh, oh, you almost jumped up there. Oh, and I can jump down here. If I want to not take damage from you, that is not the way to do it. <laughs> I'm not sure what is the way to do it yet, but that was not it. All right, that was good. Look at all these arrows. Do they all fire at once? They do. So I have some moment to pass. I am unclear. I guess it was the frost and fired at me and I didn't see it. I was going to say it was unclear, which is sitting there. That's the only reasonable explanation. Chicken leg, yes. Just the thing I needed. Okay, now's a good time. Ah, I didn't kill you in two swipes because the first one is not a crit. Alright, we found a pizza. Terrific. We're still alive. Hanging on. 
Uh, I guess I should jump in order to get a spin attack to be able to hit more of your projectiles at once if I'm not going to shout. That seems like a good strategy, actually. Let's try to remember that. Let's also not forget the shout, because uh, the shout is good. All right, Willow. Quit dodging my spin kicks. Great. Um, I've seen this room before, and it has... Oh. What is this relic here? Twin Arcane Necklace. Cast two spells to charge the necklace and make the next cast free. Because it's twin. The other one was three spells. Uh, if it wasn't twin, I believe. Um... I cast a bunch more spore bursts. Yeah, I don't see myself really taking advantage of that. Let's keep looking. And I can't re-roll that one. Uh, willows are gonna make this tough. Okay, so we got rid of the willows. We got rid of the warg. And now we got rid of all the other enemies. Now I just need to learn to do that without taking a hit in the first place. Yeah, I should use my Spore Burst more often, I guess. Oh boy, I see the arrows. So this is an extremely difficult room with the arrows on the ceiling, and so I choose not to go that way, and instead I will go to the right and up. Dodge the arrows. Uh, interesting looking room. I see it's got two willows in it. Seems like I just want to grab the chest and run. That seems like the most effective strategy in that room. This is the teleporter to nothing over on the right-hand side, and it doesn't appear that there's any for anything up there. We're a little bit low on health, so let's go back to... I don't really enjoy Axis Mundi, so yeah, let's go back to the Citadel. See if we can get our health back up. Maybe we'll find a fairy chest over there uh, to unlock something. Or a scar that could give us some more red ether or empathy or something like that. Uh, yikes. Okay. That's a case where having the double jump, like, saved me from damage. Uh, it's just, like, natural for me to try to jump out of the way. My fingers just like that action. Okay. Finally managed to make it down here. Um, yeah, before I had the double jump... I was really struggling. Remember that? Not that I'm not struggling now, but I'm struggling less. Coins! Hooray for monies! Alright, we've read all that. Don't see any secrets. Ah, I'm not sure how I got myself into that one. Oh boy. Almost just, uh... Yikes! Jumped right into that scout eyeball. Ugh. I was trying to dash out of the way. It's supposed to cut off my attack animation, I thought. Let's try that again. I don't know, it totally does. Because normally, while my axe is in the ground, like, I'm kind of stuck and can't move, but I can totally dash out of it. Okay. So dashing is the way to move while you're caught in your attack animation. There was a tip about that on the bottom of the screen after one of my heroes died. And now I kind of fully appreciate just how valuable a tip that is. Now if I can just execute it in practice, then we'll have the ultimate of Brian knowledge plus execution. Eventually we'll get there. Let's try going this way. Hey, we found a boss room. And it's got some extra stuff. Or... And... Whatchamacallit? Monies, probably. Wasn't even really looking at what was on screen. Interesting room. And... I should inspect for cracks, but I don't see any. see anything important down there. Oh boy. But 
Let's see. It seems like there's a new area below us over here. I guess the Pishan Dry Lake or whatever, and we still haven't saved the sun or whatever it is. Oh boy. Alright, good, good, good. What's up here? We got furniture. Oops. We got more furniture. And sure, let's try going this way first. Don't think I can reach you through the wall. And hatchet's gonna come my way like that. Hit him through the ceiling, because that's fun. And cheese. Cheese is fun. Cheese is tasty. I have some uh, pepper jack cheese in the fridge. Some Monterey Jack with some jalapeno peppers. Tasty stuff. Oh, wow. Um, yes, please. All right. And yeah, still haven't been using my spore burst very much. Uh, one coin. I'm greedy enough to go get it. All right. Don't see any secrets in the floor. But I was trying to keep my eyes open. Is there something we want up here? Freon's reward. All poisons have their uses. Ooh, double combo. It cost 88 resolve, though. I think let's check out the new thing for only 48. That sounds good. Opening a chest restores health. Whoa. Opening a chest restores health. That's amazing. I want to go find a chest. And am I at a dead end? In this case, I should take the teleporter anyway. Let's teleport to, let's teleport to somewhere we don't usually go. Access money, sure. All right, and this will double incentivize me to actually go after chests. Uh, there's another chicken leg, too. Very nice. Still not sure if there's always one in the entry entryway there or not. All right, lamps. And your friend, the other lamps. You guys need to go. Jump, dodge, weave, etc. Good, good. Is there a chest down here? There is. I am incentivized to get down here. Do I have a way to open this? It doesn't wake you up? I don't think I do. Okay, but I went on the right hand side. And that was a good way to do it. 60 HP! And then I got hit by the arrows because I totally didn't see the arrows because I was completely focused on the chest. <laughs> the object of my desires. It's taking up all of my visual brain power. Uh, once again, another... Let's try this. That worked. 60 HP. Great. And I can just double jump out of there. Great. Uh, let's try... That? Great. 60 HP that I didn't even need. Okay, I am enjoying this bonus spoon upgrade, whatever you want to call it. Relic. Um, one of my favorites. So, can I hit the door in your face? Uh, I guess I hit you with my axe. I feel like there's a... Uh, hit the guys with the actual opening of the door. Deals damage thing going on. Oh, you crazy archer with your skills. Sounds like I need some HP back. If only there were a way. For me to find some more HP. Perhaps by opening a chest? Uh, this always contains chicken leg, right? Oh, this time it doesn't. Okay. Alright. You guys can try to fire downwards at various angles. And is there anything in the ceiling here? Huh. So why... This room has a mark on it. As though it is a room containing a special thingy. 
Am I missing the special thingy? And what does that mark usually mean? Is there anything on the ceiling here? This might be cracked above me in the ceiling. Let's find out. Uh, I don't have mana. Like, the ceiling above me here looks different from the ceiling above me on the left-hand side. Over here. And it does look kind of cracked. I might try coming back in there with mana again at some point. I probably won't get around to it, though. Um, let's silence you. Thanks. Ah, uh, max mana. You know what? It's right here. Let's try it one more time. I wish to know. So I guess I could try from here. Ah, that still didn't hit the way I wanted it to. Can I hit it from here? I don't have enough mana again. I forgot that the attack pattern of this thing, spore burst or whatever, is kind of cone-shaped. So I failed to anticipate where I needed to aim it to try to hit that part of the ceiling. Right, you guys travel through walls, and so I should be jumping up. Oh, I see you. Okay. And let's see, can I silence you without... I think it's probably better just to stand here and avoid your attack. And how would I get way up there? How would I get way up there? By dealing with you. Is there a way to silence you from range? Yes. There we go. Oops. Alright, I'm gonna need to silence you again. There we go. Okay. Except for I need a double jump still, so I need to spin kick. Sp I used my double jump again. Oh, darn it. Okay. Spin kick, spin kick, spin kick, spin kick, double jump. Not quite high enough. Is there another bit of parkour I'm not thinking of? We'll give it one more try. Spin kick, spin kick, spin kick, spin kick, double jump. I'm not sure how to do that. Yeah, certainly there's a way to get up there, but I'm not seeing it just yet. I do wonder if we're going to get, like, runes that give us an extra double jump or anything along those lines at some point. Seems probable. Doesn't look like there's anything up there. And I know how to climb this. So we'll see what's here. Uh, that might just be the normal looking ceiling, now that I'm looking at that. So maybe there wasn't a secret hidden in there. What do we have here? Dashing creates a wave that destroys mid-sized projectiles. <laughs> and... Oh, costs 108 resolve! <laughs> I guess it's twin, so it costs twice as much as normal, but... Uh, yeah. I cannot afford to spend that much resolve, or I'll have no hit points left. And I like hit points. They're the things that allow me to make many mistakes and still continue to run. Therefore, are quite necessary. All right, is there a chest over here that I just missed? Yes, and I'm not at maximum hit points, so I'm gonna go after the chest. It has been decided. All right, and so if I go down here, I can get the chest, and I didn't think about disarming this, Ugh. All right, let's just get away. <laughs> that wasn't how I planned that to go, but it's okay. I suppose I can jump, spin kick, double jump, and get to the chest. Uh, or just dash, spin kick. Yes, great. Had to think through it, but it worked. I'm playing, by the way, without uh, V-Sync turned on. I was noting an episode or two ago that it seemed like there was a little bit of input latency. Um, 
and I don't see any screen tearing when I turn VSync off, and so hopefully that'll improve things somehow. I haven't really noticed. Um, so after Pizza Monday, is this Halfus and Bereth? No, there's still more rooms over here. Uh, what is my current goal? I'm looking for fairy chests, ideally. And also just trying to gain gold and possibly find any other upgrades that would help me. Uh, relics that might help me if I eventually do want to face a boss. I guess those are the main things going on. All right, you guys need to go. Thank you. Hey, lamps. Tell your projectiles to go away. There we go. All right, there's a doorway down there. It might contain a room with a fairy chest, so we need to check it out. Don't hit the spikes. Do break the furniture. What do we got? Eh, just more of these. 68, 48. Yeah, I can live without those. I'm really only going to consider relatively cheap relics in terms of resolve. And remind me, um, is it on gear? Yeah, relics. Freon's rewards. Opening the chest. Right. Okay. I was like, I know I, ugh, I know I had a relic going that I enjoyed, but all of a sudden I couldn't remember what it was. Okay. Opening chests equals healing. Oh, wow. My uh, Magnesis kicked in from a long way away, it felt like. What's down here? Not a what? Hello, little blobfish. Goodbye, little blobfish. Ah, darn it. Ah, I keep sliding down that. I did it again. Okay. I wonder if I, I press the button too early, and I wonder if I'm compensating for the input latency that's no longer there. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, if so, that'll be a good thing in the long run, because it means I'll be able to react quicker. Uh, oops. Yeah, so let's hope for that. Quicker reactions means less Brian taking damage, means getting farther and more progress in the game means everybody wins. Except for the enemies. Oh, more lore! I had the same dream last night. We sealed the Stygian beasts in the gatehouse. Why the estuaries decided to quarantine instead of fight. How did the beasts slip past? Why were so few guarding the gatehouse? I'll find a way into the gatehouse observation room. There is a hidden back entrance in the observation room that is revealed in the lights. So that's an insight about missing bodies, apparently. So the gatehouse, is that uh, where Halfus and Bereth were? I think that's where Halfus and Bereth are. Uh, and so basically there's some kind of secret in that room, it sounds like. I can safely go down here and get those. I don't see any cracks in the wall. And if I look down here, looks like I just want to jump across here instead. Okay, I see the XL guy. XL just means he's a soul lock with like extra health. So it's not super worrisome just yet, ouch. But it does mean he'll be able to do things like that. At least we got a chicken leg to compensate somewhat. Let's get rid of the other enemies first so I can focus on him. Yikes, okay. Those are somewhat homing. I should totally use this on you. Oh boy, darn it. He's almost down. Stormaloger is what was his name. All right. We killed him. We got extra money, I guess. I didn't notice anything amazing dropped. 
don't think I can make it up there right now. So I'm going through this way. Darn it. I jumped too high. Uh, feels like I ought to be able to make that somehow. I don't immediately see the way, though. Alright, I was just outside of the range of this nightmare. Let's silence him for a minute. Ouch. So I can fight these guys. Ouch. Alright. Let's silence him again. There we go. I see the danger. I see more danger. I see more danger. We're just gonna skip that whole area. This is the gatehouse, yes, okay. So, in the lights... Something, something? Was this just the hint that helped me find the crack over here? Yeah, I think it's just giving me the hint that helps me find the way to go on to the next area. I don't want to fight the boss right now because I'm a little bit low on health, so let's instead teleport somewhere else. We haven't gone up in this direction in a while. And actually from here, I could go back down into the castle, and that's where I'd be most likely uh, to gain some health back, actually. So let's actually do that after breaking a little bit of furniture in here. Thank you, furniture, for all of your things. Max mana! Uh, yikes! I... It's just a little too slow. Alright, that works. Where is this gonna take me? Over here. Acceptable. That guy's coming at me, so let's wait for him to... Ooh, I got like a super crit thing there. I still don't quite understand those. That's something I meant to... There's a number of mechanics that I meant to look up. Uh, and that is one that I forgot about, which is, other than skill crits, are there other types of crits? And how do you get them, and do they stack, and etc. And I forgot to take a look at that, so... But I do notice that there's different kind of numeric highlights as you're dealing damage. And so inside the golden... Uh, it's not quite a circle. Uh, there's a pizza! Nice! Um, oh. Oh, this is the entrance to access money. Alright, that's fine. Uh, did I break all the furniture over here? Yeah, I broke the rest of the furniture over here. And in here, was this just... There's furniture in here, but this is a lower room, and so there wouldn't be any other breakable stuff, I don't think. Okay. So... I guess there's more of the castle just back this way, so I'll go this way. But yeah, sometimes it's an even bigger number that lights up in a purple highlight inside the uh, spiky circle. And when it's just a um, normal number without a skill crit, then it's just like a minus 19 in red. Um, yeah, so there's a good visual language, but I don't understand all of the meanings just yet. So yeah, I would like to learn them better. Don't have to kill every enemy. Don't kill every enemy. But I don't mind killing easy enemies when they can drop me some money. Alright, we're close to maximum health, so at this point I could consider going back to the boss. Um, we have access to Halfus and Bereth. How would I do versus Halfus and Bereth? I'm not sure. I can also try to fight Nama, but it seems like Halfus and Bereth is technically the earlier area, and so it should be the easier boss to kill, I would imagine. Uh, these are the considerations that I am making as I think about it all. Ah, I thought I was getting through there in time. I thought incorrectly. All right, we're a little bit lower on hit points, but we're still in pretty good shape. There are rooms over here I haven't done yet. 
Oh, cool. It's one of these. I definitely want to do that. Let's see if we can bring any more health in. Perhaps from opening a chest. Ta-da! We're up to max out. Yay! Let's pick up a few more coins, and then let's go check out the Scar Empathy Challenge thingamadoo. Alright, multiple enemies? Nope, there's just one. So I hit him with my Swarver. I don't think I even hit him. <laughs> Not great at using the spell, sadly. Alright, but we took care of those guys. Great. Uh, let's get behind you. Hey, don't you think about it. You thought about it. You saw him thinking. He was all like, don't tell me how to think. And I was like, huzzah! That's totally what happened. Alright, this room's almost done. Next room. Oops. I'm one-shotting most of these guys, so this is making this combat pretty easy. So I'm gonna try to focus on dodging. Okay. I was not dodging the environmental threat, I was only dodging the enemies. Much to my own chagrin. You're a super dude. Okay. But not super enough. Oh boy. Alright. Many attacks coming my way. I should try using a spell at some point. Darn it. I thought I was going to get below that in time. Did we complete it? Yes, we did. Alright, that was actually pretty easy. Let's grab the coin first. A simple start. Your empathic connection has been approved. Uh, max handicap for the scar challenge. Empathy, red ether, or all good stuff. So yeah, I mostly wanted to do that for the red ether. Um, I haven't been to the left over here. Oh, if I have my uh, spin attack as I'm falling into the vines then I don't hit the vines when I fall in. That's good to know. Uh, can I just double jump onto here? Yes, I can. Okay. And... Okay, I should try to leave some chests behind in this area, so... Hmm, do I want to fight the boss now? Ooh! That looks like a giant pizza! Pepperoni pizza! Fabled weapon. Returns to user can be spin kicked to bounce off of skill crits when returning. It sounds like a chakram. I have to know. Let's find out how the pepperoni pizza works. Oh, returns to user. It. Oh, wow. Can I outrun it? There's more space in this room. Yes. Okay, it does have a maximum time range, it would appear. Uh, how much damage does that do? Does that say on here? It doesn't. Let's find a couple enemies to use it against, just to get a feel for it. Uh, fairy chest will lose no health. Which one is this? We'll try it. In theory, I can do this. I forget if I've ever succeeded at this one before. Having a double jump should make it easier. He says, losing. Boo. Ah, okay, enemies. Uh, doesn't deal as much damage as a ground crit. Uh, what was it about skill crits with this weapon? Hold on. Skill crits win returning. Got it. So the key is to hit enemies on the backswing like that. And it's a skill crit, but it's still not a ton of damage. Like, I was dealing 91. I guess it doesn't have, like, a strength bonus or something? Hmm. I might have regrets. Um... Can be skipped, spin kick to bounce off. Let's try that, too. That destroys it, but it does give me a... Oh, interesting. Could I, uh... Use that to gain an infinite amount of height somehow? Can I throw more than one at a time? Yes. And yeah, I can. Okay, I can use this for an infinite height game if I'm skillful. 
And if I throw it close, it does take some time before it starts coming back, and so I can get multiple hits on enemy. Okay, this is not as bad as I thought. This actually... This weapon has more valuable merits than I first appreciated. So yeah, let's continue to use it a little bit more around Citadel Agartha before we go try to take on Halfus and Bareth with it, I suppose. I think that sounds reasonable. It also, it gets larger uh, after it's gone for a while. Can I throw it upwards? No, I can only throw it left and right. So that's a little bit of a shame. Obviously, you can kind of travel in any direction on the way back. I just managed to fall directly on the spikes, because I'm a genius. Yeah, it just doesn't deal that much damage. I don't think this is a good boss-killing weapon. So maybe I should just try to get as much money as I can. It said it gave me a blessing of strength, too. I don't feel very strong. Um, I can totally do this. Pizza to the rescue! Hmm. Maybe... Maybe let's take the teleporter and go to the, um... The place with the things and the stuff. You know the one. The Sun Tower. Parkour. I think I'm in the mood to give this a go again. Alright, and there's furniture down here if I need it. Oh. I need it. <laughs> Alright, I have to dash through that. I remember now. Max mana! Hooray! It's about three or four seconds, I think, that the pizza can stay active. Okay, and dash into this. Right, I forgot this mechanic. Hold on. Dash into this, dash into this, and it automatically gives you a void lift and resets your dash. Okay. Oh boy. That actually worked really well. Uh, what are you? Ash. All right, Ash, that is your real name. Uh, I can dash through that. That's the correct way to dodge that attack. Uh, that's not the correct way. Pizzas do go through walls, so that's super valuable. He's a champion, but he's not a champion at dodging pizzas. Sentences I did not expect to be saying when I woke up this morning, and yet here we are. Um... All right, I'm getting a little bit of extra damage. Oh, I should use my Spore Burst. Ah! All right, there we go, Spore Burst. Oh man, I lost a lot of health already. Pizzas do destroy these little projectiles. I can dash through this. I can pizza these guys. Dash, great. I want to bring him back downwards and avoid those projectiles. Pizza. And what if I do... Yeah, I won't be able to do that. Okay. And so these are like four correct connected in a row. And I'm getting lots of mana back, so I might as well score burst you. There we go. Uh, there is a way up there, but let's go ahead and go down here and finish this guy off. Alright, we'll just dodge an attack over here. Alright. Champion pizza killer something something. Uh, are you a file fireplace nestled in a corner? I don't think so. Uh, resonant enemy. Got it. Uh, okay. Let's see. What are you? You're a skew bat. A skelebat, basically. Skeleton bat. My spores, I'm not sure that they worked against him. Oh boy. Um, you have a lot of projectiles, by the way. And this will bring us back up to max mana, so that's good. Low on health, 
And here comes another Scoobat. Alright, I'm dealing damage. Not as much as I would like. But I'm getting the job done, and as a result, we're rewarded with a chest, which gives us 60 HP and a Sanguine Helm. And I have to, oops, I have to wonder if the Sanguine Armor set is going to give me Vampirism or something. And I've got like three pieces of it now, so I should try to find that out soon. And I guess, hmm, while I have the pizza out, I could be spin kicking. As a possible, yeah. And also, if I pizza here and then spin kick it... Nope, I didn't manage to do it there. Pizza here, spin kick, double jump. That's one way to get up here. 60 HP from our chest. Alright, super parkour area. Uh, what kind of thing is that? I don't like it. Quit being all projectile -y. Uh, how am I going to deal with this? I need a way to deal more damage. Or maybe I should just go elsewhere. If I take a look at the map... Let's try going through the other room that I had access to. There's not as many choice points, it feels like. And this area... It's a little bit more kind of combination of linear bits. Oops! <laughs> Let's try that again. I don't think there's a secret there. And if I take a look at the map again... This was just the entrance, so that's the way up. Alright, let's... Yeah, let's give it a shot. I keep hemming and hawing, so I have a feeling this is going to kill me, but... I'm going to need some practice. Maybe let's avoid enemies and just try to parkour through. I need parkour practice anyway, so that's probably a very good idea. Here's a chest. 60 HP. Crescent Cape. I haven't seen a crescent thing before. Made of ore from the fallen moon. Interesting. Uh, took some damage there. Unnecessarily, sadly. Alright, got a little bit of stuff there. Hey, we're back in a room. Uh, you are a Sharite. Oh, that's an enemy from the original game. Right, who will spin around you and then all of a sudden make a dashing attack directly towards you. Okay, same attack pattern that they had in the original game. Um, let's kill you. I see the resonant enemy bouncing around over here. Okay, he's dead as well. Although there's still another one. Ouch. Ah, I died. Alright, there's just too much going on at once. And I'm trying to take it all in. We did not rank up, but we got close. We did kill a lot of enemies. Don't forget to block. We'll down short. Blocking could reduce a lot of damage. Yeah, I did it once in my Rogue Legacy 2 history, I think. Who's going to be our heir for next time? Yeah. I didn't like the Exploding Casket Syndrome, really. Emotional Dysregularity. That could be interesting, though. Hector's Helm. Deal extra damage. Magma Mass. I haven't seen Magma Mass. Let's find out what Magma Mass is. Alright, Magma Mass. What are you? Interesting. How is it described? Summons three massive balls of Magda to crash down on your foes, passes through terrain, will skill crit while falling. So going up, it's not a skill crit. Going down, apparently it is. So let's see, if I throw it at you. Couldn't quite see the numbers. 47, I believe. And if it was falling on you, how do I get it falling on you? I can throw it from here. 67, okay, so that's a skill crit. Uh, right, new equipment. I got a crescent something something and a sanguine weapon. So I've got a sanguine helm, sanguine, hmm. How much ore do I have? I have enough to buy like one or two of these things. Crescent Cape, tell me about yourself. It's for intellect, it appears. All right. I could upgrade to a warden chest, which would give me extra armor. Sanguine helm. Reduces vitality. But I have a feeling it's going to give me extra vampirism. 
And I could afford only one piece of sanguine stuff, it seems like, too. So yeah, that's gonna have trade-offs. I need to could work on a barbarian at some point. Is there something better I want to try for this current character? Let's just upgrade to the warden chest plate for now. And that did increase my warden unity. Plus 10 bonus to dexterity. Apparently I'm at warden unity level 20. Yeah, it says 20. So each piece currently is worth like five. And so bonus dexterity. Dexterity is weapon critical damage. And so does that mean now if I crit, uh, remind me, how do I crit? I have to first deflect. Uh, how is it that I get this guy to deflect to something? There's a way to do it inside here somewhere, I think. Um, I don't remember. <laughs> This guy likes to speak in different languages. And is trying to learn about humans. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I don't have enough to buy another rune yet because they all cost 800, I believe. And I'm only up to 593, so sadly, I still can't buy those. And I'm not sure how to activate my crit on my weapon. Oh, 23 is there. Okay, so if I took off Warden Weapon, those are still 23, so I'm not sure I completely understand the Warden Unity, because I thought bonus dexterity meant that weapon crit damage would something something. Alright, we have some more money to... Everybody has a different animation when they eat their pizza, I like it. Um, we have more money to spend on things and stuff. Honestly... Relics cost less result. That could be good too. It's very expensive. I'm just gonna go buy more strength. Because that means I'm gonna be able to hit guys harder. Oh, it's the burn damage that I was looking at the crits for. <laughs> he was trying to eat pizza, but it just fell off of his face. Um, yeah, so I hit for 52, and I don't remember what the number was before. I'll have to look it up in the video. Um, all right, enough fooling around. I hope, as always, that you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you again soon for more Rogue Legacy. For now, bye-bye.